Hey guys, in this video you'll discover some of the most inspiring architecture projects of 2020. We have compiled 10 remarkable designs, some of which were completed, some delayed or even cancelled due to the worldwide pandemic. Yet, they all deserve to be recognized for their originality and intent. Thousand Trees by Heatherwick Studio. Thousand Trees project represents a multi-use complex located next to Shanghai's art district. The site is surrounded by a public park and concrete towers, all consuming a total area of 300,000 square meters. A development with such colossal size entails 800 structural columns for support. Those columns protrude from the complex as an important trait to the building with their huge planters full of trees and shrubs used as an addition to the park nearby. The architects focus on laying out the columns in an orthogonal grid to create two tree-covered mountains as they slant downward toward the park. Two historic buildings were kept on the site and they are linked to the new project by a bridge that appears as a vital focal point inside the multiplex structure. 111 West 57th Street by Shop Architects The residential skyscraper of 111 West 57th Street is considered one of the tallest buildings in New York City, measuring 1,423 feet tall with a total surface of 330,000 square feet. Being regarded as an outstanding landmark for the area, the elegant tower rises with its terracotta ornament, an original material from the golden age of the Manhattan skyscraper, but used with advanced techniques. Terracotta is a versatile material, once shaped into different wall covering elements for the facade and installed in a staggered manner, it creates a dramatic unique effect, achieving the look of rippled or lustrous finish like silk. It is also worth noting that 111 West 57th Street is the most slender building in the world. Academy Museum of Motion Pictures by Renzo Piano Rejuvenating the historic 1939 May Company department store, now renamed the Saban Building, the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures, located in the distinct Miracle Mile, Los Angeles, California, is set to become the world's premier movie museum. A glamorous sphere will be replacing the addition to the building, dated from 1946, and will be the hub for the David Geffen Theater, as well as the Dolby Family Terrace, which overlooks Hollywood. The revived building will consist of an immense gallery space, along with leisure, food and entertainment areas. According to the architect Renzo Piano, the big sphere represents how the people in 1939 envisioned the future, mimicking a travel through space and time. Based on the concept of a movie timeline, visitors can enjoy all amenities offered, such as exhibition gallery, theater, and terrace. It's like going from scene to another with a blend of imagination and reality. The Academy Museum embodies a great celebration of the cinematic field where people from all around the globe can interact with movies and movie makers. The Al Jada Central Hub, designed by Zaha Hadid Architects. A six and a half billion transformational project in Sharaja, United Arab Emirates, focuses on integrating sustainability and smart technology while offering its residents and visitors a great leisure and entertainment experience. The design concept mimics the water droplet hitting the ground and spreading an immersive display of elliptical buildings which promotes natural and sustainable ventilation. This three-phase project started in September 2017. Having phase one already completed, the schedule is still on track to complete phase two and three by 2022. Another aspect of this ecological design is the usage of smart solar power for lighting and recycled garden water. 
the Musée Atelier Audemars Piguet in Switzerland, designed by big architects. Audemars Piguet is a Swiss manufacturer of watches and clocks, founded by Jules-Louis Audemars and Edward Auguste Piguet in 1875, hence the name Audemars Piguet and Company. Big architects won the competition to build a new museum for this luxury brand. Rooted in the valley of La Joux in Le Brassu, Switzerland, the family-owned Swiss Museum will add a new sculptural and spiral look to the environment while remaining loyal to the nature and to the historic surrounding. The total new size of the site measures 2,373 square meters blending with the old development. The vital and dynamic shape will emerge from the ground, offering a unique experience and an astonishing view for visitors in the pavillon of art and science. Musée Audemars is a signature of a perpetual and bold shape that will remain timeless. Nanjing Zendai Himalaya Center by Mad Architects the thriving Nanjing Zendai Himalaya Center will combine nature, humanity and modern urbanism in one colossal metropolitan project. MAD Architects aspires to keep a balance between the historic aspect of the 2,600 years old city and its high-tech development. The 93,600 square meter site consists of six lots. A vertical city plaza is connected to two of them. The two levels are linked by curvy vertical paths which offer visitors to shift from an active retail area on ground level to a surprising stroll between buildings and gardens. Little bridges open to pedestrians only lead the way to discover a small community with short buildings at the center of the site. A moving scene is manifested by the blend of little bridges with man-made hills and the water areas with a touch of prominent yet simple materials such as concrete. Taking the look of waterfalls, the rising towers stand tall at the edge of the construction area with their sun control shading glass screens. The water elements that link buildings and site together are not only used for aesthetic purposes, but also serve a great purpose for irrigation by collecting and recycling rainwater. Pier 55 by Heatherwick Studio Heatherwick Studio won the design competition to build a new pier on the southwest riverside of New York's Chelsea neighborhood. New structural piles coexist with remains of the old pier and they rise upward from the water with different levels to form an eye-catching green landscape and therefore the striking topography of the site. Serving initially as a public park with viewing platforms and alleys, the new pier project will also accommodate an outdoor theater for 700 people and a space for small performances. A colossal project of 280 piles supporting a new landscape of indigenous plants and trees covering a size of 11,000 square meters will open in spring 2021. The Poem Pavillon in the United Arab Emirates designed by S. Devlin. S. Devlin is mandated to design UK Pavillon in Dubai Expo 2020. Based on a 2015 Stephen Hawking's project called Breakthrough Message in which he summons all the people of the world to think of the right message to represent our planet in case the human race comes across other civilization in space. Therefore the idea of the Poem Pavillon is born, fusing the British competence on artificial intelligence with poetry and featuring all aspiring illuminated message to space that visitors from every corner of the world will be contributing to. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the Expo organization has postponed the event to 2021. Saudi Arabia Expo 2020 Dubai Pavillon by Boris Mika Associates. The 
Saudi Arabia Pavilion in Expo 2020 Dubai was originally scheduled to take place from the 20th of October 2020 to 10th of April 2021, representing an international must-see event. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the Expo organization has postponed the event to 2021. The project with the theme The Sky is the Limit has the appearance of an immense window taking off from the ground and emerging to the sky, representing Saudi Arabia's shining future and ambition along with the persistent cultural influence. Guests are invited to explore the transformation of the country thanks to the immersive experience displaying the abundant natural resources, creativity and the affluent legacy of the country. The pavillon measures 13,000 square meters, which is the equivalent of two football fields. Tokyo 2020 Olympic Stadium by Kengo Kuma and Associates What makes this project of great significance are the multi-layered eaves that form the main feature of the facade. Each eave is well supported by wooden louvers, giving it a human scale and reminding the viewers of the traditional Japanese architecture in contemporary fashion. In order to resist wind and earthquakes, the architects use axial stiffness of lumber combined with steel beams to form the truss structure of the roof. That's it for now guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.